Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use your micellar water to remove your sunscreen. Now this can work pretty much with any sunscreen that you may be currently using. And you can do this above the sink if you may just have applied your sunscreen on your face and neck. If you're going to use your sunscreen on your ears and maybe other body parts as well, I wouldn't recommend using micellar water for it, nor do I recommend doing this above the sink. In that specific case, it would be more convenient and more effective to switch to an oil or balm cleanser that you would apply to dry skin and then in the shower rinse it off with water and may want to follow up with a regular cleanser to do the double cleanse to properly get everything from the skin and reach every part where you have used your sunscreen. So if you want to see a specific video about that I have a video for you in the top right corner. But now I want to keep the focus on my cellar water. I just have applied a mineral sunscreen from the Ordinary on my face and neck, not my ears because then I can show you how it is able to remove it because it leaves like a light white cast which is not really my preference but in this video it's a great example to show you how effectively it can break it down. Now depending on the sunscreen that you may be using like the mineral sunscreen that I'm currently wearing you're coming across a point where you may be using quite a lot of product when it comes to your micellar water and maybe using quite a lot of cotton pads. So you can reduce it by switching to a different sunscreen that's like going to um, remove much easier from the skin or you can go ahead and switch to an oil balm cleanser. So in that specific case again you need to consider your certain points based on how effective and convenient it's going to be for you depending on the sunscreen that you may be wearing. So here you can see some examples. I have chemical sunscreens right here. Those remove quite easily. They do not leave a white cast but then the example wouldn't be the same if like you couldn't see how effectively it's going to remove it therefore I went ahead with the ordinary mineral sunscreen and surprisingly with the micellar water that I'm using it removes it quite effectively but I'm going to need quite a lot of product and cotton pads to do so nonetheless it can work when doing this method so the first step that I'm now going to do is using micellar water I'm going to dispense some product on cotton pads and then I'm going to swipe it across my face to take off the sunscreen and this can be one of the first first steps that I then later on want to put into other steps as well so that you can see how you can continue if you should feel the needs. So as my cellar water, just an example, I'm using service hydrating my cellar water right here and I have my cotton pads right here. So what you want to make sure is that you're going to use cotton pads that you can basically throw away. I wouldn't use reusable cotton pads because they, depending on the sunscreen that you're using, such as the mineral sunscreen, I'm not sure if the washing machine is able to properly get it out of your reusable cotton pads. So in that specific case, you may want to think about this point as well. Well, so I'm going to now dispense some product on the cotton pad. Not that it's dripping wet, but enough that I have enough product. And you can basically use as many cotton pads as you feel the need to make sure that you're going to properly remove your sunscreen from the skin. And I'm going to swipe it gently, but still with a bit of pressure like along my face to properly remove it. So you can already see, even on the cotton pad, that it is able to properly take it off, but it may take some time and a bit of pressure. And please don't forget your hairline. Depending on how far you went into the hairline, again, I would do this in the shower instead. But if you just have it in the front and you can take it out, then of course, go ahead and do so with your micellar water. Now maybe if you have worn a chemical sunscreen that removes much easier, you do not need to use that much pressure and you may not need to go over the same area twice or even like more than twice, but make sure that you're able to see that there's no residue left. Now don't forget to go underneath the chin as well if you have blended it further down to your neck 
And for this example, I just applied it to the front, like on my face and front part of my neck. So I can show you the demonstration and how it's going to break it down, basically take off. So this is now the last cotton pad that I'm going to use. So I'm just making sure to go over the specific areas again to make sure that I get every part, that I'm not missing certain points. And then you can see my normal skin tone is coming back. The white cast is basically gone. So it basically shows that it was able to remove it properly. And I've done this all above the sink, so it can work in an effective way. So in total, I now have used three cotton pads for my face and neck to remove the mineral sunscreen from the ordinary and you can see it was able to take it properly off. Now there are different ways on how you now can continue. If you just are using your micellar water and that's basically your cleanser because you could go ahead and theoretically replace it with your cleanser, then you can stop right here. If you are certain that you reached every area, that there aren't any leftovers, then go ahead, stop right here or maybe continue with your usual skincare routine. However, if you say, well, my micellar water may leave a weird residue afterwards, but I do not necessarily want to uh, like wash my face with a cleanser again, I just want to make sure that the residue comes off, well then one way on how you can do this is now just going to splash some water onto your face to remove the residue that the micellar water may give you, and then just go ahead and take a toe, remove the water drops from the skin surface, and then there you have it. And this is now where I'm going to move into to show you now the different methods. So all what I'm now going to do is removing the residue of my micellar water with lukewarm water to warm water above the sink. So then go ahead, take a towel and remove the water drops from the skin surface. So now you are basically uh, like taking off the residue of your micellar water. If that now feels comfortable for you, you want to stop right here, go ahead and do so. And then there you have it. That's basically then how you can move forward. Now, if you say, well, I want to do a double cleanse with my micellar water. So my micellar water is like going to be my first step to remove my makeup and or sunscreen that I have worn throughout the day to get most of it off. And then I want to lead into the double cleanse following with a regular cleanse afterwards well then this is fine as well. So I just took everything off. Now just imagine that while you were splashing your face with lukewarm water to warm water that your skin is still wet and then you can go ahead and move on to your regular cleanser. So what I'm going to do is now since I demonstrated the different steps I'm going to wet my skin again and then I'm moving on to Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser which is great for a combination to oily skin so this can be a cleanser for your specific skin types or even needs. This could also be an exfoliating acid cleanser or even a treatment cleanser and then you can use Use that one as a second cleanse to remove it from the skin, target your skin type or specific skin concern. Go ahead, take about one to two pumps, so about a coin size amount on the palm of your hand. Usually those cleansers would need to be applied on wet skin. Then massage a cleanser between your hands and gently massage it over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Or if you're working with a specific treatment cleanser, it may will tell you to leave it on for one to two minutes before rinsing it off. So therefore make sure that you're always going to read the instructions of the cleansers that you're going to use. So I now go ahead and again rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. Now if you're doing this above the sink, you can go ahead and use a soft and fresh washcloth in between. Those are also called makeup cloths that you can wet. And this can help you to remove any last traces of sunscreen, makeup, or just the cleanser itself properly from the skin. When doing this above the sink, you could even use them in the shower as well. They are very convenient to use in between to make sure that there's no residue left.
So now again, take a fresh towel and remove the water drops from the skin surface. So, and this is how you can properly remove your sunscreen using micellar water on its own or if you want to lead into a double cleanse. And so this is what I wanted to share with you on how you can properly do this, specifically when doing this above the sink. However, again, don't forget, depending on the sunscreen that you may be using and where you're going to apply it, it may sometimes be a bit more convenient to do this in the shower and switch into an oil or balm cleanser instead. Now, if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. If you now want to learn more, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video, but you will find more skincare related videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincare! Bye!